to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about hair care. I'm going to be focusing on that bit in the middle just after you've washed your hair but before you style. It's a it's an area that I haven't really spoken about before. I've told you how I curl my hair, what hair curlers I use. So today I'm going to be focusing on preparation because just like skincare, hair prep is so important. It's important for maintaining your hair, for getting healthy hair and maintaining your blow dry or your curls. So I've teamed up with Systems Professional to tell you everything and I hope you enjoy it. So let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing that I do after I've washed my hair and done everything like that, don't forget to use lots of conditioner treatments. I use them like twice a week, minimum. I have to without it, God knows where my hair would be. Before I style my hair, I try not to use too much heat on my hair. Um, and by that, I mean that I don't tong it or blow dry it every time I wash my hair. When I do, products are essential, not just for keeping it healthy, but to, to make it look healthy and make it look the best it can. So after I've washed my hair, I start off with using the Blue Shaper. This is something that I was so excited about when I first heard about it. And um, I'll tell you about the product itself. But as you can see, this is a BB product. So just like skincare, we have CC, we've got DD. I mean, they all stand for different things. BB stands for Beautiful Base. But I just love the whole the whole ethos behind this collection. So just like skincare, we all know that cleansing and toning and moisturising your skin is like a must. We all do it. Now Systems Professional are going to guide you to do this with your hair. So it's all about the prep because we know that the preparation of skin makes our makeup look flawless, makes the makeup glide on amazing. Well it's the same with hair care. So if you're someone that knows how to do your curls, knows how to do your blow dry, this will just help that and make it look even better, <clears throat> make it stay longer and make it more healthy. For those of you that are struggling to get that perfect blow dryer, those perfect curls, that perfect natural messy look, which is my fave, this will definitely help you because it will do half the work for you. So basically I just want to to stress and advise you on preparation is key so you'll find your own regime but something about Systems Professional which is one of the things that made me fall in love with the brand is it's such a scientific brand they put in so much research years of research to really understand hair molecules and the best thing that I learned was that we no longer have to walk into a store and pick shampoo and conditioner for frizzy hair, shampoo and conditioner for coloured hair. Now you can fill out online, I've done mine, I'll put my energy code here. <clears throat> it's really easy, you can do it yourself and they will give you an energy code and then those codes, you can just relate that to each collection and each product and then it will give you a little bit of everything you need. It's a life changing thing, trust me, try it. It's free to sign up and find out your energy code and it's gonna really change everything that you buy and make it very precise. So this new collection is all about the preparation. Um, it's so exciting that it's become like skincare regime, like that to me is really exciting. And this is one of my favorite products. This is the Blue Shaper. So Blue Shaper is a gel, which is quite a strange consistency. I've never had a gel that does this kind of thing. <clears throat> you, once you use this, you will never ever not use it again. I use this before I blow dry my hair. I'm really careful of how much heat I put into my hair, meaning I don't blow dry or style it every time after I've washed it because it's just too damaging. When I do, I use the Blue Shaper. The Blue Shaper is, it's a very light gel and the main purpose of this is to hydrate your hair, give that soft touch and you can basically shape it and mold it and it gives it a smoothness. And the feel of this, it's like you haven't got anything on your hair, which is so important. There's nothing worse than it feeling sticky. Like, if I go to the hairdressers, they put in so much product and it looks amazing but feels horrible. This is such a huge thing for me in hair. But what I love about all of these products actually is that they're very, very light. But this is a product, if you're going to try one, it's very hard, but I would go with this just because it's so new, unique and it makes such a huge difference. You're going to be so surprised when you see that. So apply that to wet hair. I normally start like from here downwards and then you'll see as you're pulling the brush through how it collides and it offers, it shows, it just feels and looks really smooth. 
that's the best way I can explain it, but that is one you have to try. Next up, after a rough dry, I will add, these two are just completely great, the perfect ends. I will add the perfect ends to the end, and this is also a really great product to use, like I'll probably use this tomorrow, I have freshly washed hair, but tomorrow I'll add a bit of this, this is very important because where my hair is coloured is very very dry at the ends, and this is perfect ends, like that's exactly what it is, and it will help it feel and look really soft. After I've done that, I will add some of the soft touch, which literally is that soft touch and makes your hair look and feel really, really soft, but you can use this like a bit more higher up. I have so much product on my hair and it feels like I have absolutely nothing, which is, that to me is the number one thing that I'm looking for. After everything is dry, I could leave my hair like this. Normally I don't because when I'm at home I do but I don't really leave it like that when I go out because it needs a bit more work. If I put make the extra effort and put all these products on you can see how smooth and most importantly how bouncy it is so you can just stop there if you like and then I don't have to do the extra styling. Before I do the curls my next thing that I use is the BB dry shampoo. We all know about dry shampoo, although I must hold my hand up that I only started using dry shampoo like two years ago. I know, I know. So dry shampoo, even though I was a bit late to the party, the last two years, it became like my favourite thing when I discovered it. I feel like when you're blonde, it's a little bit more easier with dry shampoo because a lot of them are white. So we can kind of get away with it when we have lighter hair. With that said, I don't really like that because sometimes I'm in a rush and I don't quite see it. This is the best dry shampoo because it is so light, it is not powdery and it doesn't have a white residue. So anyone that's brunette with darker hair, this is the dry shampoo for you. It smells amazing and it's super, super light. Um, before I filmed this video of me washing my hair, I wanted to show you I think I wash my hair like every three days or something like that and I wanted to show you using all these products how you can zhuzh up your hair because it's so like most of the time honestly I'm zhuzhing up three day old hair when I'm at fashion week when I'm traveling every day to be honest so I wanted products I wanted to show you products that's really good for that so dry shampoo is an essential and you'll see some cutaways of me here um, zhuzhing up some old hair and you'll see it looks completely different towards the end can't re recommend this dry shampoo enough. Um, I would say, it's really hard to say, but I think the, the dry conditioner is a top, top favourite of mine. Really do recommend this. Just for uniqueness, I would say Blue Shaper and dry, the dry conditioner. The dry conditioner is, I put this on at the end of my blow dry and I'm using this every day. To, like the second and third day, I'm using it just on the ends. This is like conditioner dust it is so light you can barely feel anything on your hair but it gives such a nice shine and a nice feel and it stops me from having them brittle dead ends which is something i really really suffer with and sometimes i psychologically don't want to put lots of things on my on my hair so even when i'm just like this it's so light like you probably didn't even see much on the camera then smells really good as well um, so this is one of my favourites and I feel like e even if you're having your hair in a ponytail and you zhuzh it on it kind of like brings your hair to life so when I'm when I'm showing you this video I really wanted to show you products that yes make your hair look amazing after you've blow dried it but also products that you can use to maintain because it's what I mostly rely on with hair products one of the other absolute faves of mine that's the mousse, definitely you need a mousse if you want to get that volume, is the Flexible Hold Hairspray. Now, something that I'm going to share with you about this is not a medical, system professional, official opinion. This is my own opinion that I really want to share with you because it's something really important to me when I'm using hairspray. I have severe asthma. So really, when I'm using strong perfume or hairsprays, Usually I do try to avoid it, but candles, perfume, I can't resist it, so I'm always wearing it. With hairspray, it's another shallow beauty product that I cannot not use, as bad as it is. So my trick that I do is I put it on last minute before I leave my flat, or 
I go in the bathroom and then I shut the door and it's something that I have learned all my life that I have to do because hairspray is a very strong smell and normally sets off my asthma. I did it with this, just like I do on autopilot. This has been a revelation to me because, I mean, it smells, it smells like slightly, but it doesn't have that strong alcoholic hairspray smell and I can't stress to you how this is something that it doesn't say I've never heard anyone speak about this before and I'm not saying that it's not going to trigger your asthma but for someone that is asthmatic this has been a lifesaver to me because I can literally put it on and then stay in my room and I've noticed that it hasn't affected me and that is because it's such a light consistency and the smell the smell is not strong so it seems that whatever's gone into this is maybe there's not as many ingredients as it needs. I don't know that side of it, but that's been a lifesaver for me. As far as it goes for, let me see if I've got a hairbrush. So let's just say that I'm going to spray some on the end of my hair. Like so. Let that dry a bit. The smell is so, it's barely there. It's barely there, and normally I wouldn't be able to do that with a hairspray. So it's on here now. I can feel it there. It's not sticky, it's not wet, it's a very dry hairspray. And then I brush through it. And look at that. It's the most non stick hairspray I've ever used, and it's it's just so light and manageable. So that that's a top favourite of mine. So after I've done all this, finished off my curls with the hairspray, um, finished off some with the perfect ends and the soft touch, they're kind of the, the last minute bits that I put on to make my hair really, really smooth. This is one of Paris' absolute favourites. I use this when I want, this is kind of like a putty, I use this when I want those like textured be beach waves and it's one of his favourites. This is my, my other one, it has a huge finger in it from him. He loves that one, it's a really nice strong but matte hold. So they're all my favourite products from the collection. Um, I've tried to demonstrate as much as I can, but this is kind of the, the finished product. It basically is, if you're looking for some a product that's very light, feels very soft, basically does everything that you want from a hair product when it comes to styling, maintaining, hydrating, moisturising. It offers all of this, but feels like you have absolutely nothing on your hair. You can run your fingers through and everything just feels really light and like you have no product in. And I can't talk about that enough because I don't know if you're like me, but I want all the all the results of all these products, but I hate the feeling of it. I have to have that feeling of clean hair. So I'm such a fan of this new collection. It's what you need for for in between styling and washing your hair. I can't stress enough how it, how important it is. However you do it or whatever products you do decide after watching this video, just make sure that after you're washing your hair and you're styling, don't ever just go from dry to hair dryer. Make sure you put something on in the beginning to help protect your hair, help moisturize your hair. And then if you want to go the extra mile and keep um, softness and volume and you know, something like the Blue Shaper to help you really blow dry your hair and mould it into exactly how you want. I hope that these products have been a good path of direction for you and some, hopefully I gave you some good tips in there and answered all the questions to all the questions that I get asked about my hair. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll leave links to everything below, um, even down to the silk pyjamas that I'm wearing and don't forget to have a look at your energy code because it's completely free and maybe there's a product that you're looking for and I think you'll get a lot of useful, useful information out of it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.